Hello there, YouTubers! Here is something that has been bugging me for quite a while, and, uh, well, as you can see, it's quite a critical thing. My C drive is full, and I was like, well, what the hell? I don't have anything extraordinarily uh, big on that drive. I mean, uh, I do have a 120 gigabyte SSD, uh, as the C drive, and then I have a one terabyte hard disk drive for all the data. So all the videos, all the music, all of that is all on the mechanical drive. So really, the C drive should be relatively small. But, well, as you can clearly see, it's not. Now, I was looking around and I was like, well, okay, you probably have too many programs installed on this thing. Well, what do you know? My programs don't take up any more than six gigabytes. So I'm like, what the hell? What is this all about right there? And well, I finally, after doing a bit of research, on the internet came up with a program called Sequoia View. There it is. I know this thing is looking strange. <laughs> this is looking very strange. Basically, the idea is every one of these squares is a file on your hard disk drive, or in this case on the SSD. As you can see we have just about a billion small ones right there. That's looking quite adventurous. And we do have some pretty big ones. This one right there, page file sys, that is the RAM extension. And we have hyperfill this right there that's for standby mode and I can actually deactivate that and get the uh, memory that this is blocking back and that's something I'm gonna do however the other thing this right here I just kinda went on there with my mouse and I'm like what it's um, I'm not gonna say the full path but basically it's Adobe slash common slash media cache files slash and then just the names of video files that I have on the system. However, these are not the video files themselves. They can't be because, well, for one thing, they are on the C drive while I have all the video files on E, which is the data drive. And then these all have a file extension .cfa. What I found, looking that up, it's a proprietary Adobe audio format that they use and that is what uh, makes it possible to have those waveforms displayed. Now, as you can clearly see, this takes up a whole hell of a lot of space on the hard disk drive. I mean, look at that, it's almost a third of the drive, this whole thing. Now, it just seems like these are completely useless. Because I have not worked on any one of these projects that the video files are related to in an age. So I think this is actually a bit of a flaw in the software. They generate these huge audio files, but they don't delete them when you're done with your editing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go into that... Um, App data slash roaming slash adobe slash common slash media cache files and I'm, I'm I'm just gonna delete everything that's in there and I'll be back once I've done that and we're gonna see how my SSD looks then. We're now in this mysterious folder and what do you know this thing has a size of no less than 30 two gigabytes. And here we have a whole load of .cfa and .pek files. I just click on one. Ah, uh, can't be opened. Too bad, because I'm done. I'm gonna delete them all. Just like that. There. 32 and a half gigabytes. Look at that. So that is really a bit of an issue, because the Adobe Premiere just uh, keeps cluttering up your uh, whole entire hard drive until it's full. Now, we just uh, go back. That's probably... Yep, here we go. Got a whole load of memory back. 
So that's definitely some good news, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, empty out that bin to get rid of these things. And here we go. So, let's see, is there a way to update this? Oh, there it is. Refresh. Let's see. Scanning. And there we go. As you can see, there is our page file, there is our hyper fill. I'm gonna go and uh, keep going through this cluster here. I'm gonna see what files I can get rid of. So, there is a bit of a uh, hint for all of you users of Adobe software. It might be cluttering up your hard drive. Well, thanks for watching. See you again soon.